Robin Hilton is an actress who gained recognition for her work in the 1970s. Though her career was relatively short-lived, Robin left an indelible mark on Hollywood through her captivating beauty, comedic talent, and memorable performances. Best known for her role as Miss Stein in Mel Brooks's iconic comedy Blazing Saddles, Robin showcased her ability to bring charisma and allure to the screen. In this video, we're taking a look at her life and career, so stick around as Facts First presents She Was So Raunchy When She Was Young, Proof Is In The Photos. Early Life Robin Hilton was born Robin Molyneux on July 13, 1944, in Twin Falls, Idaho. She grew up in the Mormon faith and seemed to be an entertainer even as a child. In interviews later in life, Robin admitted to using the cows on her family's farm as an audience. She even joked that cows are great to have as an audience because they stare attentively at you. After high school, she attended Boise Junior College and Utah State University. She worked for a time as a weather girl on a local channel in Twin Falls which gave her a taste of the performing life. She then moved to Los Angeles and began working as a model, leveraging her striking appearance and statuesque figure to gain attention. Blazing Saddles Robin Hilton's performance in the 1974 comedy Blazing Saddles marked a significant milestone in her acting career. Her portrayal of Miss Stein, the seductive secretary, not only showcased her beauty but also highlighted her comedic talent. During the casting process, Robin caught the attention of the filmmakers with her striking looks and natural charm. Mel Brooks, the director, was particularly impressed by her screen presence and thought she'd be the perfect fit for the role of Miss Stein. The character was intended to be an embodiment of sensuality and allure, and Robin's combination of beauty and comedic ability made her an ideal choice. Once she secured the part, Robin joined the cast of Blazing Saddles alongside notable actors like Cleavon Little, Gene Wilder, and Harvey Korman. As filming began, it became apparent that Robin's role would be a memorable one. Miss Stein's scenes involved playful flirtation and suggestive innuendos, and Robin brought a natural charisma to her character that added an extra layer of comedic brilliance to the film. On set, Robin was well received by her co-stars and the crew. Her beauty and charm captivated those around her, and her professionalism and dedication to her craft were evident throughout the production. She developed a strong rapport with her fellow actors, and her scenes with Harvey Korman, who played Hedley Lamar, were particularly memorable. Robin Hilton's performance as Miss Stein garnered positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. Her scenes in Blazing Saddles, such as the iconic seduction scene with the character Taggart, played by actor Slim Pickens, became fan favorites and were often cited as highlights of the film. Blazing Saddles itself became a classic comedy known for its satirical take on westerns and its fearless humor. Robin's portrayal of Miss Stein added an additional layer of entertainment to the film and contributed to its enduring popularity. Her other notable roles Robin's career in the 1970s was marked by her performance in Blazing Saddles, but she also brought her talents to a few other films. The Single Girls is a 1973 comedy drama, and Robin played Susie, one of the single girls navigating the dating scene. The film followed a group of women as they pursued relationships and explored their personal lives. Robin's performance captured the charm and wit required for her character. There was also the last porno flick from 1974 as well. This comedy follows the story of a man who inherits a run-down movie theater and decides to show adult films. Robin portrayed Babs, a young woman who works at the theater. Her role showcased her comedic timing. And despite the name, the movie was actually a PG-rated comedy. Then there was Malibu Beach. Robin appeared in this 1978 teen comedy set in a beachside community. It revolved around the lives and romantic adventures of various characters. Robin's character, called the Starlet, was a playful and flirtatious young woman who who captured attention wherever she went. She was also in the movie Doc Savage, The Man of Bronze, playing the role of Karen. That film starred Paul Gleason and Ron Eli and came out in 1975. Also that year, she was cast in the B-movie Video Vixens, playing the role of Inga, and had a guest-starring role on an episode of Starsky and Hutch. Her final role was in Malibu Express, a comedy and crime flick that came out in 1985. It's about a private investigator trying to figure out who is feeding the Russians info about some high-tech gadgetry. 
Robin's beauty. Robin was known for her stunning natural beauty. This included her 40-inch bust, which was often prominently accentuated in her movies. But this was often for comedic effect. Regardless, her beauty and her figure certainly opened doors for her in Hollywood. She possessed a classic Hollywood glamour characterized by her alluring features, including her expressive eyes, flawless complexion, and a radiant smile. Her statuesque figure, with a height of around 5 foot 10 and hourglass shape, further added to her appeal. Robin's physical attributes made her stand out and caught the attention of casting directors and filmmakers. With these stunning looks, she was often cast in roles that emphasized her sensuality and seductive appeal. These roles allowed her to showcase her beauty and charm, and she brought a magnetic quality to characters who were meant to be alluring and captivating. In films like Blazing Saddles, Robin's physical attributes were integral to her portrayal of Miss Stein, the seductive secretary. Her beauty, combined with her comedic timing, made her scenes memorable and added an extra layer of entertainment value to the film. These roles often allowed Robin to exude confidence, playfulness, and charisma. And it's also important to note that while her physical attributes played a role in the type of work she got, her talent as an actress should not be overlooked. Her ability to deliver comedic performances, her screen presence, and her connection with her co-stars demonstrated her skills. Robin's Romantic Life Robin has had a somewhat tumultuous dating and married life. In the late 50s, she dated a prominent L.A.-based criminal defense attorney named Peter Necht, but that relationship only lasted a few months. Then she briefly dated a man named Mitch Orenstein, but that relationship soured as well. She met and married William Hilton in the early 60s. With him, she gave birth to two children, but sadly the two divorced in the mid-60s. And tragically, it appears those two children, both daughters, were killed in a car crash. Robin maintained the single life for the next 20 or so years, occasionally dating but never finding love. Then she met Alan Mahosis and they got married in 1990 after two years of dating. They had a son together, but sadly their marriage wasn't meant to last either. They divorced in 2016. Robin's Life Today there isn't a ton of public information about Robin in recent years. We know she's long been a big fan of music and has a particular fondness for legendary singer-songwriter Neil Diamond. Her favorite actress is reportedly Carol Lombard, and Clark Gable holds a special place in her heart as her favorite actor. She's been quoted as saying that Sunset Boulevard, Schindler's List, and Casablanca are among her top films to watch. She's also into new age trends like numerology and astrology. This includes reading her horoscope every day. She's a pet lover, having a mass a large collection of cats, rabbits, and dogs over the years. In an interview, she once said that she doesn't drink alcohol or smoke, but she has other means to make life enjoyable. There were rumors she had a breast augmentation in the 1990s, but she hasn't made any public statements about that. As of 2023, Robin's 78 years old and continues living a full life. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Robin Hilton? Let us know in the comments section below.